Hello there. Welcome to Yuki's channel for anime videos. Before beginning, make subscribe and like please. Under the blanket, Haru realized that she was late for school and quickly rushed to get ready. Haru greeted her mother in the kitchen who told her to eat first. Apparently, Haru was so frequently late that her teacher did not even bother to look up as he told Haru to sit down quickly. Her classmate, of course, laughed at her, and Haru was even more disappointed when she saw that the boy she had a crush on was laughing too. After school, Haru and her friend Haromi were walking home. They both noticed a cat carrying a small box in his mouth walking past them. Haromi shouted at it to be careful but it just crossed the road anyway. Haru, with Haromi's stick in her hands, ran towards the cat, swept it up, and made a dash just as the truck drove past her. The cat was standing on both legs and dusting itself like a human. It noticed Haru staring at it and faced her, smiling and thanked her. Back home, she finds her mother in the kitchen. She asks her mother if cats can talk. Her mother explains something like that happened when Haru was little. That night, as Haru slept, the neighborhood cats meowing woke Haru up, who got up to see what was going on. She sees cats walking down the street and the cats give Haru gifts of catnip and mice. She sees the messenger that told her that the cat king thanks Haru for saving his son. She discovers the cat is actually a prince named Loon. The next day, Haru wakes up, wondering if it was a dream. At Haru's place, cattail plants surround their house. A trail of cats followed her all the way to school. She found boxes of mice in her locker, which scattered on the floor. She trips and falls, feeling more miserable than the day before. Suddenly, she sees the king's assistant, Natoru. Natoru offers to take her to the cat kingdom for a personal tour. And even tells her she will marry the cat king's son, Prince Loon. Suddenly, a voice called out to her, telling her to go to the cat's business office. She will find a fat white cat called Muta at the crossroad. She follows him until he reaches a small embankment of shops that almost seem doll-like in size. The white cat shouted at Baron and told it that he had a visitor. She finds a cat in a suit called Baron. She asked Baron to help her because she don't want to marry Loon. An army of cats swarmed into the Baron's office and swept Haru away to bring her to their kingdom. Haru wakes up in the cat kingdom where she finds she has shrunk to the size of a cat. Haru is taken to be dressed to meet the king. Haru explains her trepidations, since she is a human and the prince is a cat. The king and Natari smile, telling her that that is no longer a problem. Since Haru is now half cat, Haru looks in a nearby mirror and is shocked to see that she has turned into a cat. A white cat called Yuki led the baron and Haru through a secret passage which led to the outside. Loon had returned and told his father that he want to marry Yuki. The king decided that Haru marry him instead. Haru got all mad and called him a pervert. Of course she would not marry him. They free fall towards Haru's hometown. The next day, Haru's mother awakes and is shocked to see that Haru is up before her. Haru returns to the human world with more self-confidence after learning from her friend, Haromi. That her former crush has broken up with his girlfriend. Haru simply replies, it doesn't matter anymore. Finally, I hope you enjoyed the movie. Subscribe to the channel for more anime.